2019 and I'm on the road. I had arrived in Catherine and hoped that I would be able to organise to have my fridge repaired or replaced. That we managed to accomplish, along with servicing the van and replenishing supplies. Two weeks of sitting back and kicking my heels had me itching to get back on the road. I'm never happier than when I'm driving, and I had some gorgeous country to traverse. Let's do it. Uh, it's Monday the 29th of July and we're leaving our caravan park Riverview Caravan Park here in uh, in Catherine I've got one photo shot stop I want to do before I go too far just out the road out here if I can get off the road to do it, that is. Well, it's been two weeks here, and uh, it's just dragged on a little bit, that's all. Uh, I mean, the place isn't a bad place, but I think I'm out Catherine, somehow. Now, what I want to do is try and capture all these helicopters that are parked together here. It's right on the wrong part of the road where I want to pull off. Oh, I should have got in there. There we go, that'll do the job because you can do this sort of thing here. It's 8.25 and we're about to go over the overpass over the railway line. A bit of haze around out there today. Well, they came and camped out here the other night, and that's it. That's my camp spot, just here, coming up on the left-hand side now. We camped here the other night. There was a freight train in the uh, terminal there. Right there is where I camped. 193 to Victoria River. Well, there's a bit of traffic out here already. The ones coming towards the side of suggest a free camp for the night. There is a, a free camp area just down here. About 40, 50 kilometres, something like that. But from memory it's on the left hand side. We in fact found the gravel pit on the right hand side. Uh, a bit further along I think it was and I put the awning out and I didn't anchor it down which was a stupid thing to do and of course the wind came and uh, made a bit of a mess of it it was back in 2013 now we can do 130 ah! that would be right now we're about 20 kilometres, 22 kilometres out of town and there's a little spot just down the road here where I, uh, I stopped, I think it was the first night that I came in. I seem to recall it was the first night. There's a rest area here on the right hand side. And I'm just trying to remember. 
thinking west. Yeah, just a just a pull-off area basically. Twenty-three furthers on, kilometres further on, there's another one coming up. They are quite plentiful along this road. Okay, that's a camping area coming up. And there's that is on the right hand side maybe. Yes it is. When we came through in 2013, we came in there and someone had claimed the uh, the, the shelter area and they parked all their vehicles around it and stuff anybody else we were having this and that was it wasn't terribly impressed with it but still not a lot you can do about that but you get assholes everywhere don't you that's interesting that one's running this past a cyclist. I know there were two of them. I uh, spoke to them yesterday. Well, they'd be a fair bit further along now, I'd say, but uh, the person running, I don't know what the story is there. Unless they live in the area or something. looking at the horizon and it's dark and then sort of gets lighter as it gets taller. In other words it sort of looks like haze or or something like that. It probably is haze whether it's smoke haze or what I don't know. It's quarter past nine. The sky is blue above us. It's interesting. There's a few different trees starting to come. There's a Scott Creek. Nice country through here. There's those trees I'm talking about. Starting to get a few hills coming up ahead of us now. Okay, quick little stop. You got a banana or two and a drink out of the caravan. And run our way again. There's a bluff in front of us. And I didn't stop that table rattling in the back. Bugger. Oh well, not to worry. There's a caravan parked up on an old section of the road there. Might be a bit interesting getting back on again. Road still running alongside of us, so been a few tracks made down to it. He's got a problem because there's a bloody great ditch there. Uh, that might not have been the best move for him.
This other one pulled in off the side down there. Yeah, it's just a little range of hills on the left hand side. And there's a truck right behind him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, that could have got ugly. That could have got ugly. So the next rest area is coming up on the left hand side. This one's got toilets from the bit from uh, from memory. Yep, there's a toilet in there. Not a bad little rest area overall. That'll be well populated tonight. Next one's 75 kilometres away. So I'd say that's probably at Victoria, Victoria River. Uh, starting to look like some interesting country coming up ahead of us again. It's one big flat topped hill. Well, we're five kilometres from the uh, Noel Buntein Memorial. Buntein was a legend in the trucking business. Buntein Highway was named after him. Very open country at the moment. There are trees, but they're smaller trees. This is the turn off to Top Springs, and this is the uh, Buntine Highway. And there's the memorial. And as we pull out, three others pull in. And there's been a few go past while I was there, so she's a busy road this morning. Timber Creek 161, 386 to Kananara. Timber Creek Roadhouse, uh, not Timber Creek, uh, Victoria River Roadhouse is our first. Stop. Mm. 
another river area. You can tell by the trees. Brandy Bottle Creek. A lot of cattle in on the grazing in and alongside the road there. So we have now officially entered the Victoria River region, according to the sign on the side of the road back there anyway. Very much weathered sign at that, I might add. Okay, so we've got a rest area, or do we have a photo opportunity? What's the situation here? We'll leave the camera open. It's a truck stop. The trucks and of course caravans are pulling in. That'll be right. Meanwhile, look at that ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, nice. And well, they got someone right up in Ginger, that'll be right. Seem to recall coming over that in 2005 and not having the camera running at the time. Okay, the Judbarra Gregory National Park we go into. And this basically stretches across to the other side of Timber Creek, if I remember rightly. Just past the Sullivan Campground, and it's 17 kilometres to Victoria River Station. Yeah. 
I think we parked off just down there with Annette. I have that feeling. bluff ahead of us there. Oh, that's magnificent. That is magnificent. is a magnificent piece of uh, rock that's for sure uh, look at all that in the distance we got a beautiful afternoon to traveling ahead of us There's the river down there. It was 10 to 12, I thought it'd be later than that. Uh, just stopped and had lunch at the uh, Victoria River Roadhouse. Well, I'll put it this way, when I say at the Roadhouse, I've stopped and then I've actually uh, fed myself in the caravan. Done all that. <laughs> And so now it's back on the road again. I actually haven't been into the roadhouse at all. Trying not to spend money. Look at that magnificent view ahead of us. Ah, oh, fantastic. And that goes right around. With it. I'm going to do it. I did it uh, back in 2013. I'm going to go down and have a look at the uh, Victoria River access area. Top keep WA free of cane toads. I haven't seen one site of a cane toad or a, at all on this trip. It's a big bluff we're looking at before over there.
Okay, there is a pathway down to the river. I don't know whether you can drive down there or not. But if you can, whether you can get back up again. Okay, I'm assuming that there is a there is a turnaround area down the bottom there because it's you can launch boats down there, but I'm not going to take this down there. So we'll move on. Those bluffs are just fantastic, aren't they? That's magnificent. Interestingly, this is the Victoria Gorge. Victoria River Gorge. Those bluffs remind me so much of some egrets taking off of a, uh, a bluff in the Kimberleys. And it's called Victoria Bluff. Out at Mornington. See, look at the valley over there. To the right. It's the gap through the hills. Okay, we're on the road again. The size of this boulder on the right hand side chopped off from somewhere up there. Such a beautiful drive, a little different to what we were experiencing this morning. Just spectacular. The old Victoria River crossing to the right there. We had a look at that back in 2013 as well. Look at that shelf sticking out up there. Oh. There's the river ahead of us. Well that seems to be the bit up through the pass, but then we got more of it ahead of us. Look at that. Joe Creek picnic area. Um, there's a climb up the side of the hill there. We got about halfway up it I think.
Jeez, it's dry up here. Really is dry. We didn't have a wet season last year. Not a big one, that's for sure. More of these bluffs to look at. There's a good place to stop for the night. Except it's too early. That's the Buchanan Highway, and that's uh, going down to uh, Top Springs again. We've been through some fairly flat country since uh, Victoria River. There have been sort of a ridge or a hill out to the left of us. But now coming towards Timber Creek, we're back into that sort of uh, river type area. So we're coming down to the Durack Monument. We're crossing the Timber Creek, whatever it is, as it is. Right into the left takes you into the Bolita. End of the Bins Track. Because we had a good bit of that in 2013 as well. Yeah, we're along the Belita access road there. There's a track that runs from here across to the Buchanan, uh, Buchanan Road. Well, it was marked as we're going across that way when we were there in 2013. We never went across it. But I've looked for it ever since on a map, on all maps, <laughs> and even on the satellite. Do you think I can find it? And I know, knew where it was because we got the satellite position marked out on the on the video. Anyway. It's a curiosity that one. Okay, we're not here. That was the Jurak monument we just photographed there. Modelled in the shape of a, a branding frame or a frame that they would tie the calves to to brand them, the cows to, to brand them. There's a little sign back there saying no camping within the town limits. I think it just said camping, but um, that's understood. But we also just had the phone go beep, 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 so. This is Timber Creek. Well, 65 for diesel, that's not bad going. 
That's it, United. Now, there was another service station here, and they were both different prices, as I recall. It's the bakery. We're going to go and see if the police, the old police station, is open or not. Two twenty five to Kananara. I wasn't sure I've uh, put thirty litres in. I put thirty litres in just to be sure. Airport to the right and the lookout to the left. Hello, Laurie speaking. Hello. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the Lori. With who? Lori. Yeah, who, who's, who, who's calling? This is Alex from Mighty Market. Lori. From where? From Mighty Market. Ah, uh, look, I'm not interested. I'm in the Northern Territory. I'm in the bush at the moment. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. She's a nice steep run up here. This is a nice old drop on either side as well.
Peapock trees. The yellow flowers. Saw someone on social media asking about those the other day. I didn't have a clue when I came up here the first time either. Car park number During World War II, growing concerns over a Japanese invasion of Northern Australia led to the formation of the second first North Australia Observer Unit, a highly mobile reconnaissance unit led by local Aboriginal guides who knew the local landscape. The role of this unit, nicknamed the Nakaroos, was to report any enemy landings on isolated areas of the coastline. The unit was active in the Timber Creek and Victoria River areas and was recognised in 1998 with a memorial being built at the lookout. So the better views of the town are further in, so we'll take a run up there and If you enjoyed this video, there are over 400 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button and maybe even leave a comment. If you weren't too impressed, then the dislike button tells us absolutely nothing. So tell us why, so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.